stuffed toys in an art exhibition? It's more likely than you think. In fact, in the back of the room, you'll find four dolls that are cute and a little bit creepy. And you're gonna wanna hug them real bad. Sorry, I gotta take this. Hey! Sorry, I'm filming right now. Yeah, 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 about the dolls. Yeah, you can totally hug them and take them. It's really awesome, actually. The dolls are great, but not only because they're cute and cuddly. They are also based on the Ukpik, an important part of the Inuit culture of north of Canada. They appeared first as a creation from Genie Snowball in the early 60s, inspired by Arctic owls, which during a tough time in her life were a source of sustenance and became a special symbol to her. This is the Arctic. Your exposed flesh can freeze in a matter of seconds. Later, it was chosen by the Canadian government as a mascot for the country in the Philadelphia Trade Fair of 63, which triggered a major commercialization of the toy because of their cute nature. And that's great. It brought indigenous culture closer to the mainstream public, providing representation and diversity where there was none. But on the other hand, it became a commodity, a product still seen by post-colonialist eyes, as some argue that it reinforced stereotypes of a primitive and naive indigenous art. This mixture of indigenous and Western identity is a key theme on Kabluziak's work. An artist from Yellowknife, whose family moved to Edmonton, capital of Alberta, Canada, a few years after they were born. A self-defined urban Inuk, Kabluziak explores the intersection of being Inuk and being an artist breaking the expectation people have of indigenous art. As you can see, this doll doesn't look exactly like the original Ukpik, and neither does this one or that one. Kabluziak mixes silliness and sexuality with Inuit media to show that indigenous art isn't something frozen in time, connected only by colonialism and its struggles. In their words, trauma tailgates us like dust. We're older than colonialism. We're older than Canada. So what do you think about Kabluziak's work? Let us know in the comments. I'm Gabriella, and this has been Art Minute in the Deutsche Halle.